YouTubers, welcome to Nerd Magic, where I show you all of the awesomeness and magic of being a nerd. God, I love being a nerd. Well, guys, I'm going to make this video extremely fast because I don't want to take up too much of your day. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm going to show you how to install the latest and greatest of the not-so-stock ROM and the LG V20 for the AT&T, which is equivalent to the H910 version of the V20. Alright, so the prerequisites you're going to need is a LG V20 AT&T. I know it says T-Mobile here. My own is unlocked. If you don't believe me, here's the AT&T signature at the back for, as proof. You'll need a laptop or a desktop, and you'll need a rock! Hell yeah! Alright, and this is what else you have to do. Just make sure that your V20 is plugged into your laptop or desktop. After you plug it in, just make sure USB debugging is on. After USB debugging is on, make sure you have Media Sync also on. After you do that, just plug it in your goddamn laptop or desktop. Go to the link in the description to download the update of the LG V20 not so stock ROM which will be version 5.5. The link will look like this. As you see it's just a mega drive link. <laughs> Alright, once it's finished downloading all you gotta do is transfer the file over to your goddamn LG V20. Which I'll do right now. Alright nerds, as you can see the download process of this file is complete on my end. Hope it is on your end as well. Alright, and again, the link of this file is in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, you just have to locate wherever the hell you downloaded it to. On mine, it's pretty simple because I'm using Google Chrome, so all I gotta do is go to the bottom left, click this arrow right here, click Show in Folder, and here's my file. I'm just gonna right click, copy it, and here's the LG V20 stuff. Just click on it, Internal Storage, and just paste it right here. I've already ha I already have this file on my V20, that's why it's asking me to copy and replace. It will not ask you that. Alright, it's finished copied over. It takes at least one or two seconds. Now you can minimize or X these windows out, do whatever the hell you want to do. Alright, so once you have that file copied over to your LG V20, all you have to do right now is pull up your Android Tools folder. You should already, you should still have that I hope from my how to root your LG V20 AT&T part 1 video so make sure if you do not have it that you re-download that Android Tools folder alright moving forward once you have that folder open all you do is click shift right click go to the part that says open command window here and once it opens up you just want to type in ADB space reboot space recovery Alright, FYI again guys, if you have your phone in media sync mode, please change it to charge mode or else this will not work. Well, at least it didn't work for me. You can let me know if it worked for you guys. Alright, so click enter. Alright, it's starting up. Alright, and as you can see right here. Um, that it's doing its thing right now. It's gonna do its little lovey-dovey thing, so it's gonna take a while. So with the magic of editing, I'll be right back, but this is the screen you wanna see. You're gonna see this screen before it sends you into TWRP, so I'll be back once it's loaded. Alright guys, as you can see, we're at TWRP right here. And this is the wonderful thing about this ROM, you don't have to wipe anything. Well, at least at the beginning. <laughs> Just simply click install. Wherever wherever you put the ROM at, the update at, that's where you have to look for it at. My own is in internal storage. And here it is right here for you guys to see. So you guys see I'm not shitting around. H910 5.1 to 5.5. I'm going to click on it as you guys see right here. Swipe. I'm making sure you guys see this so you guys know for a fact that I know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, then you can wipe it here. <laughs> I guess I kind of tricked you guys. You do have to wipe it. <laughs> Alright, just reboot the goddamn system. What I was trying to say, what I basically meant is that usually when you install an update to a ROM, you usually have to wipe the cache and dial the cache prior before you actually install the ROM. But on this update, it's not required, so you just install the ROM and after you, after you install the update, 
then you wipe the cash. Alright, with the magic of editing, I will be right back, nerds! Alright, nerds, so my phone has rebooted back up, so let's see if it's installed. Alright, so all we gotta do now, you just go down here, blah, 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 go to settings. Alright, we'll just move slow for like the first 10, 15 seconds. That's, that's, something, that's something of the norm, so don't worry about that. Um, after 15 seconds, it catches itself, and then it's gonna move extremely fast. All right, so let's see about phone. So what are we looking for again? Software info. Let's see, is it dead? Oh, it is dead. Look at it right here. Build number NRD90M mod version 5.5. And again, for anyone that is doubting me that I'm on a AT&T LG V20, look what it says for the software version H910. Boom, ignore the fact that it says T-Mobile at the top. As I said, my phone is unlocked. I'm using the H910. All right, guys, and I hope this was very helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have a lot more content coming for the LG V20. I'm going to show you guys how to take a lot better pictures with the camera to get some lower noise reduction so your pictures will come out even crispier on the LG V20. Stay tuned and have an awesome day. I love you guys.